Oh gosh. Hi friends. What is up? This is funny. I think I Whoa. think I started my last video. I look so tan. Oh my god. I think I started my last video. Chill, bro. Sorry, that was my dog. I think I started my last video like this, also with a terrible angle, so my apologies, but I feel like, you know, a little more close and connected to you guys when I do it like this. But what is up? As you can see, we are in the kitchen, so obviously we have to be doing a food-related video, and today we are doing everyone's favorite, my favorite, a cookie video. My last baking video was crumble cookies. I started with the basics. You guys really liked it, and so today we're moving on to two new crumbles recipes let's set up the camera I'm gonna start pulling out ingredients because we're all about the multitasking over here what is up okay so for the other video I started off with the most basic cookies I just did the chocolate chip and then I did the chilled sugar cookie so if you either really like those types of cookies and you want to remake them you can check out that video or if you haven't seen it yet go ahead and check out that one today we're moving on to two of their most popular highly rated and reviewed cookies so we're gonna be doing the churro one and the Twix one. Also, let's just take a moment for this account. I will link the videos with the recipes below, but it's saving me, first off, so many ingredients because last time I baked so many cookies, I gave them out to people. So, I mean, they loved it. My dad loved it because he had a bunch of cookies, but this account has really helped me out. They do like single serving. I think it makes like two cookies. So in the long run, it'll benefit everyone because then I can just bake more cookies, find more recipes, show you guys how those turn out. And then you can just make like more cookies but different types we all love variety here so let's start whipping out maybe i should it's really not that that's not the video maybe i should like write down what i need or something i'm a little lazy to do that right now okay we're gonna do the churro one first that's easier okay i'm gonna write down the ingredients that i need sounds like something a smart person would do ah! all right also do you like my super snazzy business fit i was gonna change into something a little more baker friendly but i decided i'm gonna i'm really just gonna challenge myself sure. oh. uh. I'll, I'll catch up with you once i write this all out this isn't very interesting hey guys so update it's been a solid 10 minutes i watched the videos i'm well first ish with them and i wrote out the recipe so i'll like post this somewhere or like write it down for you guys so you don't have to watch the entire 10 second long video this is really i'm vibing right now also look i got flowers just for for the background of this video i'm kidding i don't know why we have those but they're cute i cleared the table for this video though i never really do that our table is usually a mess let's grab all the ingredients out i'm actually really really excited i'm making like a smaller batch because that way a lot less cleaning a lot less ingredients i just sound like the laziest baker ever butter eggs sugars where's the butter oh my gosh i'm so Stupid. Guys, I'm so dumb. I hope my <laughs> my dad doesn't watch my videos. I bought this whole dozen eggs, and I only need half an egg for each recipe since it literally makes two cookies. So now I just have a bunch of eggs. Yes, I have to bake more <sighs> flour, ah. sugar. Where's the bite? Found it. Uh, and then I think I'm just gonna use like a normal. Oh, actually, actually, prank, prank. I'm not gonna use a normal spoon. Where's my cinnamon? Where's my vanilla? I talk an awful lot to myself when no one's home. I got the whole house to myself right now, which is actually perfect. Because it gets really hectic trying to bake in here when my dad's cooking or whatever. Okay, I think that's actually everything. That's not too bad, to be honest. I think I need to go get more butter, though. What else? What am I missing? I think I, I'm gonna need, like, oh, what is that? Ah! Ah! All right, that was dramatic. I'm kind of a hot mess, not to lie. Ouch. Okay. We are gonna start off with mixing five tablespoons. Jeez, that's a little. What am I saying? It's always a lot of butter. I need more bowls too. Okay, freaking ten minutes late. Oh my gosh, my camera is literally falling. What happened? Come on, guys. Five. You can't see my head now. Wow. Five tablespoons of butter. A little over half. Ow. And we're gonna melt this in the microwave. Also, since the last video, I think I went to crumble like twice and I tried some more cookies. So I never tried the Twix one that we're making today, but I imagine it tastes good. I sound stupid, but I also, I really don't know if I've tried the churro one. If I did, it's obviously not very memorable. Half a whisked egg. I don't even know how you're supposed to do that. But since the other recipe uses the other half, I'm gonna like whisk a whole egg and then like just use half of it. Sounds like a good plan, right? That didn't melt very much. 
I'm also going to try to make these like without a, a mix. Can I make this without a mixer? I'm going to try really hard to make it without a mixer. It's going to be my workout for the day. It'll be an arm day. I know I use that joke literally every time I bake and it's not even a good joke. I'm serious. Baking is kind of a good workout. I think you're not supposed to put the egg in the butter right after you microwave it because once I did that and it started curdling and like cooking the egg it was kind of nasty so I'm, I'm gonna wait a little bit we're gonna add the sugars it's just a tablespoon of brown sugar and a tablespoon of white sugar like let me just say that makes you feel a lot better about yourself last time when i made the cookies literally like a cup and a half or something of sugar and i was like holy smokes gone crazy where's the oh i found it i've really missed baking i've been like in and out so much but i haven't really gotten a lot of time to bake thank you guys basically i appreciate you for making me make more cookies my dad probably appreciates it too worth of a tablespoon of vanilla you guys measure your vanilla because usually i don't but you can't risk the crumble cookie in like a lot well i don't really know what to do about that oh right after i said i was measuring it i think i think it's okay well it actually looks like a lot of vanilla Okay, the other problem with this, like having these really tiny recipes, it calls for like an eighth of a teaspoon. Am I dumb? A fourth of a tablespoon. I don't know how much vanilla I put in there. It calls for like an eighth of a teaspoon of stuff, and that's kind of like hard to do, not even gonna lie. But I'm just gonna try. Also, I didn't plan this out very well. My camera's literally about to die, and I just started filming. But hopefully it makes it through. Does that look like half? A lot of mental work for me. I think all I have to do is add the egg. Okay, we're gonna add half of this egg. I don't really wanna do, oh, well, I guess we're going for it. it Look like half, right? And then a half a cup and three tablespoons of flour, which is kind of an odd measurement. Oops, that's half. And three, oh, why did I put that away? Two, three. Okay, did I finish telling you guys about crumble? I went recently and I got mud cake or something. It was literally just chocolate. Like, it, it can't be bad. But it had a gummy worm on it, which I think is kind of weird. And then I got a sour patch one. That one was not good. It was pretty bad, not gonna lie. I don't know why I got that. Like, I was feeling adventurous, but it, it really was not good. Um, oh, red velvet. But, like, red velvet, duh. Like, you know what it's gonna taste like. That one was also all right. Basically, more of the story, they've all been very underwhelming recently. I think it's because I just keep going during the bad flavors. So, I guess it's my own fault. That's what it's supposed to look like. This looks kind of kind of moist. Then we're gonna mix sugar and cinnamon in this separate bowl to roll it so it's sounding kind of like you know when you make snickerdoodles and you like roll it in cinnamon sugar that's literally what i'm doing fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon that's not very much cinnamon we could definitely do more but i'm gonna listen to the recipe there you go now we just mix it and then roll it not that bad that was kind of quick i need a i don't want to get a we're just gonna actually i'll use this me being resourceful. I think maybe I should chill this, but they didn't tell me to chill it. Okay, guys, the rings are coming off. That means it's serious it's game time. Bro, you're crooked again. Ah. I think I just made it worse, actually. No, I made it worse. There we go. I don't know anymore. I don't even have a tray. <laughs> Please don't judge my tray. It's really dirty. Guys, life hack, okay? Watch this. Use a piece of tin foil so that you don't have to clean. Okay, we're using half. I think this is supposed to make two cookies. But what was I gonna say? Oh, I need to preheat my oven to 350. Also, um, what? Jeez, Melanie, what is wrong with me right now? I think I drank too much caffeine. These look like they're sweating. That's how oily they are. Oh my golly, jeez. Oh my gosh, there, there's no way it's supposed to be this oily. I think I did something wrong, but I don't know what I possibly could have done wrong. <laughs> Guys, okay, I have to squat and look at you for this. I'm using my baking intuition, and I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. So I'm gonna add just like a tablespoon, okay? Hopefully I didn't mess this up. I'll take full responsibility. See, that, that looks better to me, I think. We're going to cut it in half and roll it. These are massive. <laughs> While my oven preheats, I'm gonna put these in the fridge, just like this. Okay, guys, now looking over at our recipe, it is 350 for eight to 10 minutes. So we're gonna go plop these in the oven. Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. Eight minutes. 
starting now. Okay, so I don't know if this is like the best idea, but I think I'm gonna make the buttercream right now. But they have to like chill anyways once I take them out of the oven. But I think I'd rather just, you know, get it out of the way because that's gonna be a lot of mixing. And then I'll have it ready and then I'll start on the Twix one. This is going by so much faster than last time. Last time I think I was baking for like an entire day. Also, sorry guys, I'm just really cutting corners today. I'm kind of lazy. I'm gonna reuse bowls. So like, don't sue me or call me a bad baker, please. I'm sensitive. The batter is honestly the same exact thing. Oh my gosh, you can't see my head again. I don't get why they made me make so much cinnamon sugar just to waste it all. This could be like three French toasts. Now we're gonna make the buttercream. We need six tablespoons of softened butter, powdered sugar, and cinnamon. Okay guys, it is time to check on these churro cookies. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm dumb. I think I forgot to flatten it. Is it too late to flatten it now? I'm gonna flatten it now. This is so wrong. You know what? They still look good, okay? Okay, but nonetheless, look at those. They look really good. Really good. You know what? I actually love it when my cookies are really cracked like that. I'm not even being sarcastic. Let's go back to the buttercream, though. Please excuse this mess back here. We're not doing aesthetic baking today. We're just doing tasty baking or something. Hello! Hey guys, we are on to cookie number two already, which is the Twix cookie. Funny story, I've actually never had Twix before. So I'll do a live taste test for you. And the reasoning for that is because like I have a lot. This cookie is definitely gonna take a little bit longer just because I'm really thirsty one second. You have to like make the caramel, caramel, car car caramel, whatever you, you want to call it. And you have to let the entire thing chill. And then you also have to melt chocolate. Like three things cool. I, as I was saying, I've never had a Twix bar before when I was younger. Actually still, my mom's really cautious about allergies, which makes sense. You know, she didn't want precious little baby girl. That's me to die. But like she told me I was allergic to this. Whoa, what? For some reason, I still don't believe that I'm I'm not allergic to this. I don't know, apparently I'm not. Oh my gosh, this is music to my ears. It says cut up as much as your heart desires, so I, I just bought a bar. Maybe I'll do two of these. You know how stuff says may contain or like made in a facility that processes nuts? By the way, I assume you knew just because it's literally my personality trait. I'm allergic to a lot of stuff. Nuts is one of those things that I'm allergic to. I don't know, I just never ate it. But you know, I also, I didn't eat a Kit Kat until like fifth grade. Let me just put those chopped pieces aside. We're gonna do a little taste test of this. Oh, whoa, look at that. I'm not a huge caramel caramel person, but I can't imagine this being bad. Oh, this is really good. Mmm. Honestly, I think I like Kit Kats more, but that, that was pretty good. The cookie is gonna be even better. I have my butter now. Ooh, whoever used this spoon is probably me. Did not clean it very well. Three tablespoons of sugar. Ah. Or a tablespoon of vanilla. Ooh. There's not even a fourth of a tablespoon measure. I don't know if they meant a teaspoon. <gasps> this happens every time. Three fourths cup of flour, that's it? There's no way. There's no way. Oh wait, just kidding. I was just being dumb. One eighth teaspoon of baking soda and salt, which is the same as last time. I'm telling you, I could have just doubled the, the batter recipe and like did the same thing, but apparently I didn't think of that at the time. Also, this one has a different baking time. It is for, well, it's eight to 10 minutes, so but it's at 375. Nice. I'm obsessed with baking single serving things. It's so much fun. Actually, say I was a mom and I had a bunch of kids. I think I would actually love baking big batches of stuff and seeing it all like disappear. It's just kind of tough when I'm eating literally all the cookies. Tough for my health, you know. Ooh, eggs. Nice. Then you just fold in the Twix. Yo, that's a song. Oh. Okay guys, the Twix timer just went off. Oh, those are huge. Wow. That's pretty sexy, not gonna lie. Wow, look at those. That's massive. Now I got out my little pan and we have to make some caramel caramel. I'm gonna say that every time because, okay, I don't know if this makes sense, but you know, the strongly debated question, is it caramel, is it caramel? I don't even know what it is. I think I overthink it so much that I, I, I use both. I think I say caramel apple, but I say salted caramel. I don't, I don't know. The video made it seem not too bad. It's just like melting sugar and butter. Cream, which I actually don't have any cream. So I'm gonna use my coffee creamer. I don't know if that works, but we're 
gonna try it. Actually, let me watch the video on how to do it one more time because I'm kind of nervous about this. This is random. Sometimes I get texts from like random numbers and I get kind of like excited or something. Oh my gosh, a, a mystery stranger is texting me. But it's literally, it's always Goodwill or Beginning Boutique. Let's watch this video. Dude, I'm forever waiting for the day on TikTok when you can like fast forward to a part in a video. This is like super inconvenient for me. Five tablespoons of sugar. Mix constantly on medium heat until melted and golden. I'm just gonna go for it, guys. I'm nervous. Let's turn the fan on. Ah, stress. I get easily flustered. I'm gonna need a spoon mixer thing. This one, look, 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 it's so cute. You guys probably want to see this. You can't see this right now. Wow! Look, you're taller than me now. Why does it already smell like it's burning? Nothing has happened yet. This is gonna be my thumbnail. I'll take thumbnail while I wait. I, I don't want this in here. It's a no. A no for me. Be careful. Everything in my kitchen is breaking. It's really unfortunate, honestly. Nothing's happening. Should I turn it? Should I make it hotter? See? Something is happening, but I can't tell. Oh my god. What the heck? Is this supposed to happen? <laughs> I think I'm supposed to add cream or something now. <laughs> I think I did that completely wrong, not gonna lie. What? Wait, that looks kinda right, right? I hope no caramel making experts are watching this because it's probably really sad to watch. Should I put it on heat again? Do you hear that? That doesn't sound good. Dude, I'm just gonna have no caramel. Here's the thing, guys. Even if I wanted to do this again, which I very much don't want to do this again because it was extremely difficult and I'm still very confused about what I just did, I would have to clean this pan. What do you think I should do? Update, guys. I decided to be a good baker person and start over, so I'm trying again. I think I'm just gonna add, like, less of that. Maybe I should just use normal milk. I don't freaking know. This is probably, like, some science thing. But honestly, it looked like caramel, and it looked good with just the butter. So I might just not add any cream because I don't have cream. Or I'll just, like, add one single droplet of this. In the caramel making process, this is where we were kind of-ish last time, and it looks, that looks kind of right, right? But then I put the butter in, and it starts, like, making weird noises, and I start freaking out, but we're gonna try to do it again. Dude, I am sweating right now. All gooping up onto my spoon. I don't know why I thought I could go from doing a chocolate chip cookie to this. We're gonna add our two tablespoons of butter. Yo, it's doing it again. I should really get like a baking apron or something. I think I need that. Did I even put the milk stuff in? Quick decision, guys. Should I do it? Should I do it? Uh, I think this just looks absolutely scrumdilicious. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I don't wanna mess it up with that milk stuff again. Last time it kinda like screwed me over. Before this like sets, we're gonna move over the cookie station. We have the Twix ones here, the churro ones here. You can see the size difference. Okay guys, my caramel literally started doing something weird. I don't know what's happening. Look at that. I'm so confused. Is it because I didn't add this stuff? You just don't have any other choice. It smells like caramel though. It's kind of depressing. For this Twix one, I'm still gonna melt some chocolate and then pour it on top. Try to salvage this. Okay guys, the final step that we have left for both of these cookies is frosting the churro one. I have my frosting, I put it in a piping bag, I just use a Ziploc bag, and we're gonna try frosting this baddie. It's a beautiful morning. The finished product. Would you look at that? It looks so good, guys. I'm so excited to taste test these. It is everyone's, but mostly my favorite part of the video because we're gonna taste test them and I haven't had cookies yet today. That's funny. I eat cookies like every day, but let's let's get our taste tests on. I have my hydroflask to um, wash down the palate. It's a little date, guys. Smile. Which one should we try first? I'm thinking the, the churro one. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking so far. I'm really excited for the Twix one. We had minor setbacks with both of them. The crumble, the, what am I saying? The churro ones are a little bit small because I forgot to like press them down. So they're a little bit wonky looking. And then the Twix ones, I just like totally effed up the caramel. Like I already know, but it can't taste bad. It's literally just sugar and butter. So that's kind of crazy. Caramel is the same thing as buttercream, but just like made different. Okay, well, we're gonna try this churro one. Oh, that's really good. It basically tastes like a snickerdoodle, but with frosting. That's 
So by the way, update with adding the extra flour. It made it a little more crumbly, but it still tastes really good. Mmm, delicious. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I think I also just- Is my camera- I'm really blind, so I always think that it's like not rolling, but it is. That was really good. I love snickerdoodles though. I feel like a lot of people don't like snickerdoodles. I want to put my rings back on. I'm feeling a little naked. <laughs> this is chaotic energy video. My apologies, guys. I feel like a lot of people don't like sugar cookies and snickerdoodles, and I don't know how because it's literally straight sugar. It's so good. Now on to the Twix one. The Twix ones look massive. Oh, should I give it a rating? I'll give it a rating after. I feel like a Twix one would taste good even without the extra like caramel and chocolate stuff on top. Also, my chocolate literally isn't setting. I think it's broken because if you didn't know, or actually you probably don't know unless you live around here. Sorry, I'm just talking a lot. But Washington had a massive like heat wave and it hit 111 here. I wasn't here during the heat wave, thank goodness, because I don't have AC. I literally would have died. The heat wave ruined all my chocolate and we have a lot of chocolate in my house. My mom stores bars of chocolate in that room. All of them are like really funky and weird now. Okay, I'm gonna try this now. Mmm. It tastes really good with the Twix bar inside. But I don't think I got any of my, my weird caramel. Ooh, I think it's not setting because it's too hot out right now. These are good, especially considering that it's like a single cookie recipe. Okay, I need to try some of that butter, whatever caramel stuff that I fricked up. Do any of you guys eat cookies with a fork? I don't know if that's like kind of wrong. This is so good. <laughs> Honestly, I can't even taste my caramel stuff that I made. Kind of just blends in with the Twix bar. I think I should end off this video or else you guys are just gonna watch me demolish some fat cookies. I had so much fun making this video. I'm gonna make crumble cookies for like the rest of my life. These were delicious. I totally recommend making both of these. I don't remember if I gave a review. Okay, I think churro one, it's good. No, it, it, it is good. Depends if you like snickerdoodles. For me, I think I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. And then the Twix one, if I didn't have to make that caramel stuff, like if I just put chocolate on top, because that caramel stuff was a pain in the butt. The pan is still soaking. I didn't even make it right. You can't even taste it. If I didn't put the caramel on it, I think I'd give that a solid like 8.5 out of 10. But both of these were really good and I had so much fun making them. And I am absolutely obsessed with single cookie recipes because that made it so so much easier on me. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more recipe testing and other crumble recipes. Let me know which crumble cookies I should try next or if there's other bakeries. I actually went to LeVayne Bakery when I was in New York and those cookies were amazing. So I might try to remake one of those. I've remade those before actually, but maybe I'll film it because I actually love those cookies a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy.